And, uh, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, to be honest, listen, women are sneaky, you know? Especially off a of one night stand, because they'll tell you like, woo, look at the time, you gotta go. <laughs> now us men, we stupid. You know damn well you can't walk after busting a nut, you gonna try to drive. <laughs> like, no, no. Me, ladies, I'm gonna tell you something. You sleep with me, I'm spending the night. Talking about, woo, look at the time, I gotta get up early. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We both gotta get up. I need to get me some cereal and some juice in the morning, you know? But on a real note, I think one of the reasons why I've been single for so long is because I got a bad attitude. Like, I remember me and this one girl, we got into it. She was like, Donald, that was just the best time ever. I was like, girl, get out of here. She was like, I'm serious. I said, I know you're serious, but you gotta get out of here. <laughs> I don't want my mom to catch you in our bed. <laughs> but no, listen, ladies, to be honest with you, men, we're jealous. I know I am. I, I can't stand the fact that there was a guy before me that slept with my lady. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm climbing in the bed and I look over. I just see some guy humping her. I can't even see his face, but he's just humping her. And I'm like, oh my God, get it out of my mind. But at, you know, at a young age, we feel like we have to always bring that spice to the bedroom. You know, so you know, on my anniversary, I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm about to show you that little tornado move. She like tornado. Pfft. I did that with Mike in 03. You like, oh my god, <laughs> this girl's a whore. Oh man, but I'm not gonna lie. Where the couples at? There's couples in the building. Oh, woo, all right, all right, all right. I mean, everybody, everybody's ever dated the opposite race. Like, I've, I've never. There was a girl who never dated a black guy, and I wanted to bring it to the dark side. So I felt like <laughs> I need to spice things up. So us us men, we like to, you know, mimic movies and stuff. I did Star Wars. Like, you know, I came out the shower, I just bust in the bedroom like Darth Vader. <laughs> 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 you have fooled me for the last time. <laughs> Join me. The force is powerful here. I can make you an amazing Jedi warrior in the morning. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Remember, I am your father. <laughs> but no, on a real note, for the couples out here, always try to entice and always keep the spice alive in your relationship. Like, how many of y'all have ever did the sex video? <laughs> listen, there's not listen, there ain't nothing wrong with doing a sex video. My thing is don't look at it if you ain't been to the gym in a while. <laughs> like, I, remember I, I remember I did a sex video, I was like, yo, I can't sleep. Let me just watch this video. I'm looking at it. I, I looked at her, I punched her in her neck. I'm like, who the hell is he? She's like, no, no, what the what the hell? What, what's wrong with you? I'm looking. I saw myself in the back. I ain't know I had cellulite and two dimples on my lower back. <laughs> Nobody told me this. I'm hitting it. I'm over here hitting it from the side. I'm like, why you ain't tell me you was pregnant? She was like, that's you. I said, oh shit. <laughs> I took that tape to the gym that night. My trainer's like, yo, Donald, what's up? What you want to work on? I said, motherfucker, look at me. I look like a panda. <laughs> but on a real note, you know. New York is probably one of the best cities to be in at this time. Am I lying? No. no. That's what I'm saying. You know, the best thing about living in New York is the ghetto. I live in the ghetto. And you could always tell you who was in the ghetto is when you have that, when you have smelled that unique smell of marijuana. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't smoke because I, I just do dumb shit. Like, the first time I got high, I couldn't believe, I went in a 99 cent store and spent $475 because I couldn't believe everything in the store was 99 cents. I had two of everything. But I had the munchies like a motherfucker though, I tell you that. I'm in the toilet with a with pancake mix, M&Ms, and a taco shell. I'm over here cutting an onion on a snicker. But the one thing, the one thing I do love living, about, uh, living in the ghetto is the fact that the bootleg DVDs. I'm telling you, everybody, I bought two DVDs one time. Everybody saw that movie, Get Out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. saw it? Yeah. I, I, got, I brought it from a crackhead, and I put it on. It was just video footage of him getting kicked out of every store in our neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a, and the funny thing was I actually bought a bootleg porno. The shit had commercials. <laughs> I'm ready to get it on in the living room like, yeah. And I, I'm like, oh, shit, an Advil commercial. I said, I think I do have a headache, though. <laughs>
Oh, but the one thing I do hate about the New York is the MTA. Am I lying? Almost six dollars to go home. Six dollars. You cannot make no more reckless decisions. It's either buy a sandwich or how you gonna go see your kid. <laughs> He'd be alright. <laughs> no, but the reason why I hate the subway is the rush hour. I hate it. Oh my god. Like I remember I was falling asleep one time and just something kept hitting me on the forehead. Pat. Uh -oh. Pat. <laughs> Pat, I'm like, yo, this lady bag better stop hitting me on the forehead. I'm gonna say something. Pat, Pat, I said, yo, this lady bag better stop hitting me on the forehead. I'm gonna say something. Pat, I look up. There's this big black guy in sweats from the gym, hunched over me, and his dick was hitting me on the forehead. <laughs> now, I wasn't mad at the fact that his dick was hitting me on the forehead. Is that nobody woke me up? <laughs> been on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, talk about God falls asleep on the train, dig on the forehead. <laughs> now I'm walking around New York City with three million likes. Come on, stick out with dig on the forehead. Really? really? But everybody, everybody know that halal truck, right? The, the and they be saying that it's sell like gold chicken, but it really be moose duck and all that other extra shit. <laughs> Listen, it has a thing that has a gyro with a little red pepper next to it. If you see it, that's what's coming out your ass. Don't eat the little, don't eat it with the red pepper. I remember I had a gyro after a nice little workout, and then I, a minute and seven seconds later, my stomach, I was like, okay, okay, just a little gas, all right. You just blame somebody. Out of nowhere, it just, this heat sensation just came from my rear, and I was just like, whoa, this don't feel good. And the whole time I'm trying to work, I just, okay. I told, <laughs> I asked my gym, I said, yo, y'all got something for the stomach? He said, nah, 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 we don't got that, we don't got that. I'm, the first time I'm trying to use a public bathroom, I'm looking, I sit on the stall, and I'm like, no, no, I can't do this, they gonna see my sneakers, they gonna know, I blew it up, no, 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 no. I don't put 16 rows of tissue, I'm over sitting up here, off the damn stall, and I'm like, you know what, I can't, I'm gonna just wait till I get home. And you know that moment when you got a shit so bad that everything just doesn't work for you. The elevator taking too long, you just... <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, gosh. I go to take my keys, my keys for this. Oh, oh, damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Now, when you get to the bathroom, you don't even sit on the toilet. You throw yourself on the toilet. You just... Ah, ah, fan, ooh. Ah, fan, ooh. Start, you on the toilet for so long, you start taking a pants like that. You just, uh, uh, oh my god! I was on the toilet for so long, I started looking like the thinker. I was just, Fran, ooh, Fran, ah. You start apologizing for shit you did in the third grade. You like, oh, I should have never took little Stephanie pencil. Fran, ooh, Fran, ah, ooh. Uh, and then you start looking at shit you should do in the bathroom. You're like, you know what? <laughs> I should fix the crack on the wall. So you see a spider, you turn to the side with some tissue and some water, just, ah, get out of here, spider. Ah, free, ooh, free, ah. Now, I don't know why we do this, but for some odd reason, we always gotta look at what we shit out. I just, Oh my Jesus, that came out of me? Is that moving? But before I go, guys, I'm gonna share a little news with y'all. Um, recently, I just became uh, a godfather of a beautiful baby girl. So, um, something new for me. Um, I think she's gonna be a freak, though. Um, Cause she start taking the, the milk, right? And she starts squirting on her face. And I'm just like, damn, girl, you just like your mama. <laughs> Guys, thank you. My name is Donald. <laughs>